quality adjust tracking control on your VCR. When clouds hide the sun on a rainy day, I dream of my sandbox and I want to Let's hope that this never happens to your home. Every year, thousands of homes go up in flames. And many of these fires are caused by careless accidents. When there is a fire, the fire department has the job of trying to save life and property. The quicker the fire crew are on the scene, the more chance they have of saving lives and putting out the fire. But someone has to tell them when there is a fire so that they can respond. Would you know how to call the emergency services if you had to? That's right, you pick up the telephone and dial nine, one, one. But remember, you must only do that when there is a real emergency. When you call 911, you'll be connected to the emergency services control room. You'll be asked for your name and telephone number and what kind of assistance you need. From here, the fire trucks and paramedics are sent to the incident.
Most fire trucks have big ladders on top. These ladders are used to rescue people from tall buildings and by the firefighters to get above the flames so that they can direct their hoses down on the fire. The ladder can be controlled by the firefighter on the ground. From here, he can swing the ladder around, tilt it up and down, and extend it, often with another firefighter on the top of it. These ladders can be very long, as much as 200 feet, that's as high as a 20-story building. Sometimes there's a bucket on the end of the ladder. This can hold four people, and the ladder can also be controlled by the firefighter in the bucket. Firefighting can be a dangerous occupation, but firefighters are highly trained and are very aware of the responsibilities they all have for the safety of their colleagues. Lives depend on these ladders, so they are made to a very high standard from welded aluminum, which is both very light and strong. These stabilizers ensure that the ladder, when extended, is secure and safe to operate. Without them, especially with very long ladders, there might be a danger of the whole fire truck tipping over and the firefighters getting hurt. Every fire truck is specially made for the fire department buying it. It's designed to the precise requirements of the users. It is then hand built to that specification. A lot of aluminum is used because it's light and strong and it doesn't rust, so the truck will last a long time. Many of the parts are manufactured using computer-controlled tools for a high degree of accuracy, and then all the pieces are brought together for assembly. The engine is mounted in the chassis. Then the wheels are rolled in. After the cab is completed, it is painted and then fixed to the chassis also. The ladder is installed on top. The lights are fitted and checked. After the final touches are applied to the paintwork, the fire truck is ready for delivery.
Ambulances and their paramedics also have a vital role in saving lives. Minutes can make the difference between life and death in transporting sick and injured people to the hospital. When the 911 call is received from an accident, the paramedics and ambulance are dispatched. The fire rescue crew may already be on site and dealing with getting trapped drivers from their cars. The injured have to be taken as quickly as possible to the hospital for treatment. Many accidents happen at night, so the fire rescue crews have to be available to respond at all hours. By administering emergency treatment at the scene of the accident and getting the victims quickly to the hospital, they save many hundreds of lives every year. Airplanes carry a lot of flammable fuel, as well as a lot of passengers. At airports, the emergency crews have to be ready to deal with major incidents. Thankfully, they do not happen very often, but when they do, many lives could depend on the crew's well-rehearsed actions. Any fire must first be put out before any passengers inside can be rescued. Special large trucks, which carry a lot of water, are needed. They also need to be able to travel over rough ground. In order to put out the flames quickly, the water cannon can deliver over 1,000 gallons of water a minute.
In some remote areas, accident victims may be a long way from the nearest hospital. By using helicopters, they can be transported to the hospital quicker than is possible by road. In a matter of life or death, every minute can make the difference. It's not only accident victims who can benefit from the speed of helicopter transfer. This helicopter is taking a sick baby to a hospital in another city for the special care it needs. Throughout the flight, the nurses can look after the child until it's safely in the other hospital. In some areas, traffic congestion can seriously affect the capability of the paramedics getting to an accident and getting the victims to the hospital quickly. The ability of a helicopter to land almost anywhere is a major advantage. Rapid response and quick evacuation of the victims to the hospital are the secrets of effective life-saving.
Whether for getting rescue workers into position or for assisting in search and rescue, the helicopter is an invaluable aid to the emergency services. The Coast Guard patrols our coastal waters in long-range helicopters. They are not just fighting the war against smugglers and protecting our shores, but are constantly on call to help boats in distress. Coast Guard helicopters can go as much as 300 miles out to sea in poor weather conditions to rescue sailors in trouble. Now remember kids, if you see a fire, stay well away and don't try to fight it yourself. Call 911 and get the experts. When clouds hide the sun on a rainy day, I dream of my 